Okay, welcome back. And um, this video, I'm going to show you how to prep the aileron servo uh, to get it ready to mount it into the wing. So this is the right wing. As you can see, that looks like the right wing there. And so this is the right aileron servo, and, it, and I haven't screwed it in yet. Um, but I have uh, uh, let me pull it out here. <clears throat> but I've done a couple things. Uh, the first thing I did was I took a hobby knife and cut a hole in this um, block. By the way, these blocks are not identical. They are paired. One is left, one is right. So when I took it out of the right wing, I actually wrote a little R right there to, to make sure I got the right wing. And so this is the right servo, and I have labeled the right servo as right aileron. Okay? And... Um, so this, this is long enough uh, to come out the hole, the hole right there in the wing. So it's long enough to come out that hole and have enough of a lead uh, so that uh, with an extension on the receiver, uh, I'll just need the two uh, nine inch extensions that you saw in the completion guide. So uh, what I'm gonna do now is show you how to get this little package ready. So to start with, um, I'm going to get the uh, left wing here and uh, pull out the uh, um, uh, holder for the aileron. And I already labeled it L. Okay, you can figure out how to do that. But I'm going to take a uh, sharp, very sharp, brand new, very sharp hobby knife, uh, X-Acto knife, and cut that hole out. Okay. Take your time. Putting airplanes together, it requires a great deal of patience. Okay. So I've got it most of the way out. I can hold on to it. And cut the rest of the way out. Let me get over here where I make sure you can see it. Okay. And taking my time. There we go. So I got that little piece out. And uh, so there's the hole. Alright, don't need that little piece. Okay, so there's the hole. <clears throat> um, I've got the now the left aileron. So the right aileron, I always use the blue color. Okay, and for the left aileron, I'm going to use the sort of off-white <laughs> beige um, masking tape here, and. Um, Doing this is really important because if you put the two ailerons servo wires on backwards, guess what? Your airplane flips upside down as soon as you start a turn on takeoff. Had that happen to me once, never again. <laughs> and yes, they were labeled and yes, I put them on backwards. Uh, but they were not color coded. I learned a long time ago on that one that uh, I had labeled them, but I used the same color. And um, so now I use both a label and a color. So the right is always blue. The left is always the white masking tape. But I still label them. So this is the left aileron. And it's in the, I also write down aux one. So the left aileron goes in aux one, and uh, the right aileron goes in the aileron channel. <clears throat> so that's labeled. Okay. And now the next thing to do with with this is get the uh, grommets in. There's four grommets, and they only go in one way. There's an indent on one side and flat on the other. So the indent is what goes in and you just sort of push it in there like that okay and there's four of those to do 
So you gotta make sure you put the grommet in the correct direction. Four grommets are now in place. Okay. Uh, the rubber grommets, now you put these little brass tubes in from the bottom, like that, so that the flange part of that tube is on the bottom. And so you put the four brass pieces of tubes in from the bottom. One, two, three, four. Okay, well, those are good. Um, let's see. The next thing I want to do is um, uh, center the servo. So I'm going to turn the radio on. I'm going to put this uh, left aileron wire into the aux one channel, which is the this one to the right. Okay. Yep, get it in there all the way. There we go. There we go. All the way in. So it's in the aux one channel right next to the wire where the uh, gear channel which has the power on it. And uh, <clears throat> So I'm going to flip on the switch and center that servo. I'm just going to okay, wiggle it. Yep, it's centered. Okay, so now uh, what direction does that go in? Okay, so um, this goes in the wing like that. Okay, so it goes in, in the wing like that. And so this servo has to go in like this, like that. So it's centered in the hole. And that means that the, if it goes in like that, then the servo arm goes on like that. Okay. And then that, that little piece there May not be exactly centered, but that's okay. That's what we got uh, sub trim if we need. So now that that's up and that's going to go like that, I can put the servo arm on. Uh, actually, before I do that, the servo arm, remember, has a rough side and a smooth side. The rough side goes on this little white piece here. Before I put that on there, I'm going to use quick connects. So I'm going to open up the last hole. It's almost open all enough, but not quite. So I'm going to take a 1 16th drill bit and um, twist it through there just by hand and ream it out a little, okay, so that that 1 16th is fully open, okay. And then, um, let's see, what side is that going to go on? Gonna go up like this, okay? Yep, that'll be fine. Okay, so that's gonna be up like that, and I'm gonna put it on the top side like that. So there's my quick connect sticking in the last hole of the arm. A little white piece of um, plastic goes on the bottom like that. Okay, and that just hold that little quick white piece, hold that little quick connect right there. And I'm going to go ahead and put the screw in top so I don't lose it. And the screw takes a uh, 332nd hex. I'm not going to tighten it down all the way, just enough so it don't, doesn't fall out. I'm going to put that right on the, like that, so it goes on the upside. Okay. And then screw that arm in place. Am 
I'm also going to make sure, because this arm slides up and down like that, I'm going to make sure it's all the way extended. Okay. I can um, turn that uh, switch off. I can turn the radio off because it's now centered. All I was doing there was making sure it was centered. Okay. So now that the, that arm is in place, um, we can put the put the arm through and then get it uh, basically centered like that. Okay. So now um, you screw this down and to do that you got to sort of hold that in place and I use a pin vise. This pin vise has a one millimeter uh, drill bit on it. So I'm going to make sure that that's all seated nice and tight. Drill one hole. Okay. And then take one of the screws that came with the servo, put it in there. And I'm going to use my um, battery power drill. Very nice way to put servo um, screws in. And I'll let that go down like this. Okay. Now, I don't want to mash the grommet too much, but I want it tight. So that looks tight. Now all four of those look in good spots. Place so I won't have to hold it so tight. Now I can drill three more holes and with my pin vise. And I can uh, get the other three screws put in. Two screws down. Guess I should watch what I'm doing. Sometimes you have to coax that screw down the last little bit there. This battery power drill I bought at Amazon and uh, it's worth its weight in gold putting screws in like that. Okay, so now this goes in the left side like that. And let's see, you know, it'll go in, it goes in this way so that the arm is closest to the aileron. That's how it's going to go in. And that's the same way the right one went in. So it's going to sit like that. And I'm going to do a quick test here. I'm going to turn the radio on. Turn the receiver on. And we'll test this. Okay. So all I'm doing is testing if the full throw... That full throw is moving completely. Um, so if I got 100%, this arm is touching uh, the opening. 
Well, that's okay. What it, what that means is when I do the final changes and and uh, uh, setup of the receiver uh, once it's all mounted in place, I'll uh, probably reduce that in the uh, travel of the of the that particular servo. Um, so the, the uh, so that that won't bind any when you flip when you try to go 100%. <clears throat> So um, that makes the servo uh, ready to install on the wing, and uh, we'll be doing that in the next video, along with the uh, push rods and so forth. So thank you for watching, and stay tuned for the next video.